Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. We are in a spiritual war. In Revelation 12, 9 and 10, the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. The accuser of our brothers has been thrown down who accuses them day and night before our God. The Greek word for devil means accuser, slanderer. And Satan comes from the Hebrew and means opponent, adversary. And he is still loose in the world today. In 2 Thessalonians 2 verses 9 and 10, The coming of the lawless one is by the activity of Satan with all power and false signs and wonders and with all wicked deception. Deception. He tries to deceive and distort the message of grace and turn it into license. And he constantly accuses and wears down the saints of God. Our weapon against him is God's truth, God's word. Jesus said, John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus said in John 8, 31, 32, if you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. When Jesus appeared to Paul, the apostle, Apostle to the Gentiles, he said uh, in Acts 26, 17, 18, I am sending you to open their eyes so that they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Let's pray. And today we're going to pray the word of God in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 25 and 26. Father, grant to them, our families and friends, repentance leading to the knowledge of truth that is found in Jesus Christ. Cause them to come to their senses, to escape from the snare of the devil after being captured by him to do his will. Father, our weapons in this warfare with our adversary, our accuser, are mighty in your power. So we pray for strongholds to be pulled down, completely destroyed in the lives of our families and our friends. And in the name of Jesus, we cast down Satan's arguments and deceptions and every high thing the devil has spoken against the knowledge of God and Jesus Christ. In our minds, in the minds of families, and in the minds of friends, Lord, we pray. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we bring every thought in the minds of our families and friends, Lord, into captivity to obey Jesus Christ. Father, we bring your word to their remembrance. Remind them of your truth, the truth found in Christ, and let your word, through the power of Holy Spirit, set them completely free from the devil's lies and deceptions and distortions of your word and your grace. Holy Spirit, open their eyes so that they may turn from this present darkness to the light of Christ, from the power of Satan's deception and lies to the true and living God. Grant us strength as we continue to in prayer, Lord, for their very souls. And as we pray, Lord, we pray in the name of the captain of the host of heaven, Jesus Christ. Amen.